In this video, we're going to be making ourselves a 4x1 Lego brick in Autodesk Inventor. It's going to look something like this when you are finished. Just do a quick fly around so you get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, not much to it. Another fairly simple Lego brick to make. So let's head over to the file menu and get started by selecting a new document, choosing the metric template, and then a standard millimeter inventor part. Click create when you're ready. And to begin with, we'll make it new 2D sketch and that sketch is going to go on the XZ plane which is the bottom or the base plane there. Now we're going to draw a rectangle today so grab your rectangle tool from the ribbon start on the origin there and we're going to drag out we'll go 32 wide and 8 high. So it looks something like that 32 by 8 press enter once you've got that and then click the green tick at the top to finish the sketch now we're going to extrude this to make it 3D, so I click the extrude option up the top there. And we're going to extrude it a distance of 9mm. And we'll click OK. So there's the basic shape of our Lego brick done. Next thing I'm going to do is put the little dimples on top. So we'll start another 2D sketch and we'll click on the top face of the Lego brick. Once we're on the top face, Grab your circle tool and just draw one circle on there, that is 4mm in diameter, and press enter. From there we're going to dimension this circle, so grab your dimension tool, click on the center of the circle, click on the top edge of this rectangle, and then just come out to the side, and make it a 4mm dimension. Still with the dimension tool selected, we're going to click back on the center of the circle, and then click on the left edge of the page, or of the shape, sorry, and then come up the top, click, and make it another 4 mil dimension. Okay, you've now got your circle in the position we want it to be in. What we're going to do now is just uh, make a little rectangular pattern where we repeat this circle another three times. Okay, so up the top in your pattern option here, choose rectangular pattern. Go and click on the circle once, so that's your geometry selected. And then click on the direction arrow just here. We're then going to click on the top, fa uh, top edge of the rectangle. And at the moment, if I zoom out, you can see the circle's coming out to the left. We want it to come out to the right. So what we need to do in this little dialog box, just select this option here to flip it around. Okay. Now we're going to change our number here to 4. So we have 4 circles in total. And the distance between each one is going to be 8 millimeters. So if I zoom out, you can get a preview of how that's going to look. Okay, we've got four circles in total, each with an 8mm gap between them. So once you've got these settings all good, click OK. And we've got those little dimples now drawn on the top of our Lego brick. So you can finish that sketch. And what we'll do is just extrude those little dimples to make them 3D. So click the Extrude button up the top. We're going to extrude them a distance of 1.7mm. And just go around and click on each of those little circles and then click OK. Okay, so you can see our Lego brick looking quite good. Flipping it around to the bottom now, we need to hollow it out or shell it. Okay, so the way we do that is just go up to the ribbon, select shell, make the thickness 0.8mm and just click on this bottom face. Click OK when you're done and you've now got a hollowed out Lego brick. Okay, so that's looking pretty good as well. Last thing we'll do is just put in a couple of tubes along the bottom here. We're going to be solid tubes actually to help it connect to other bricks um, nicely. So what we need to do is start a 2D sketch and put it on the bottom face here of our Lego brick. And we're going to be drawing ourselves a circle. Actually before we draw the circle we might put in some guides to help us draw this circle. We want to get this circle drawn smack bang in the middle of this base. Okay, so. I think the quickest way to do it is probably just use some construction lines. So first of all, go up and click Project Geometry from your ribbon and select this base rectangle. Okay, and press Escape once you're done there and you'll see a few yellow lines have appeared. That is going to help us out um, with guiding us to put our circle in the center of that Lego brick. We'll then grab our line tool, turn construction lines on, and I just want you to hover over this line until you get to the center point. Okay, it'll go green when it hits the center. When it does, just come straight down and click. 
And then we're going to get in the middle of these circles here. Okay, the guides should help you out and just draw a line through the middle there and you've now got a center point. So you can grab your circle tool now, turn construction lines off. And on that center point, I want you to drag out a circle, just a small one, 2.4 millimeters in size. All right, press escape and you can delete those construction lines now. So just click on them, press delete on your keyboard. Now we're going to just repeat this circle over here and over here. Okay, and we'll do that again by using our rectangular pattern tool. So click on the rectangular pattern tool from your ribbon. For the geometry, just select that circle that you just drew. Then choose direction 1 here. And I want you to click on that top edge. Okay, and it's going to put it to the right first for me, so just over here. You want to make sure it is an 8mm space. And you can click OK. That's the first one done. Just repeat that again, so go up and put another rectangular pattern on, click that middle circle for the geometry, and then for the direction 1, choose that little arrow, and hit that top face again. And instead of it going out to the right this time, you want it to go to the left. So you're going to have to click this flip option just here, to flip the circle around to the left side, and put in an 8mm gap again, and click OK. So you've now got three circles run across the bottom of our Lego brick. You can finish that sketch now. And we're simply going to extrude those circles now. It's going to be an 8.2 millimeter extrusion. And just go and click on each of those circles. And if you flip your shape around a bit, you can see that they are extruding out to make them into 3D tubes. Click OK when you're done, and you've got a finished Lego brick. Okay, last thing I want to do is just add a splash of color to it. So head up to your appearance browser. And I might just look for a black color to put on it today. Remember to highlight the whole shape first before you apply these colors. Geez, having a hard time selecting it all. There we go. And smooth black looks good to me, so I'll click on the little up arrow and that will apply it to my Lego brick. So I can close the appearance browser. And there we have it a 4x1 Lego brick, all colored in nicely with the color black. Save that up and I will catch you in the next video.